This video has a very important message, but before we get to that, let me show you what I'm working on here. Um, this is uh, the Rocketeer jetpack that I'm working on. This one here is actually a real legit copy of one from a movie that I am borrowing to get some uh, measurements from. And um, as you can see, it's very nice. Of course, it's made of plastic, and I don't do plastic, I do metal. This is the previous version I did, which is made of steel, and I'm sacrificing this thing. You can see the um, the curvature is not quite right in, in this area, so um, this little spot here is quite different. So I want to make sure this thing is perfect. So I'll sacrifice the one and use the other to make all the improvements I need. And this comes apart, and I'm going to use this as the base to start from. Anyway, let me get to the point of the video. I think a lot of you who watch this channel think I've got some kind of superhuman ability to make this you know, awesome stuff all the time and make it um, perfect. And I can totally understand why you would think that because obviously the nature of YouTube or television is that I or they are trying to show you um, a, a perfect thing that they're creating. You have to cut out all the bad stuff to make sure that it's an entertaining video and that everything is going as planned and that's definitely not the case. It is 100% true that I have failed many more times than I have succeeded and the truth is failure is far more important than success. Now a lot of people don't understand that. They think that succeeding is you know the the only way to go and you you have to succeed at whatever you're trying and if you're not succeeding succeeding you're doing the wrong thing now that's very much wrong um, if you're not succeeding you're just not trying hard enough yet or you haven't learned your skills yet or um, or you have not uh, developed the technology yet to get to where you want to be and failing is uh, is more valuable because you understand all the things you are not supposed to do. The, uh, the hardest I was ever hit with this, I think, is when I was writing my books. When I wrote my books, um, I had sent out probably, uh, I don't think it was quite 100, but I, I want to say like around 80, um, you know, submissions to this thing to, to send to um, agents and publishers. And... I failed every time. Every time I got, uh, you know, a letter sent back and it said, look, we love your writing, but fantasy just won't sell and, you know, we're just not interested. And um, I went on to do uh, my own thing. I, I actually self-published through Amazon and um, uh, currently standing, I don't know the exact number, but it was a couple years back, it was 200,000 or so copies in circulation. Um, now I didn't get paid for all those copies. Some of them were free, so um, it doesn't quite count as uh, success uh, monetarily. Um, but it is a success that my books were in people's hands and people were reading them. So the bottom line is, every time you get knocked down and you get back up, you gain strength when you get back up. You are a stronger person than you were when you failed. So do it again and continue to try and anything you can imagine, you can accomplish. Anything. So what I'm making here is I'm trying to make a form to uh, cast some concrete. This little blurry stuff right here is a mineral oil and vegetable oil mixture. I'm gonna mix together and brush on here to keep the concrete from sticking to this buck or master. Um, the metal inside there is to help with uh, hammering because I was going to use this to hammer onto. I'm just going to use high strength concrete mixed with fiberglass to use as sort of a hammer form. And um, I still think the idea is sound, but I think I put too much water in the mix. Um, and what happened was it, it came out as a fail because... Um, there were little voids all through it and it was not nearly as solid as it needed to be so some of you uh who follow me on instagram and my armor templates facebook page uh were suggesting i should have vibrated it i did vibrate it some with a hammer as best i could but i don't have a, a giant vibrating thing to make that work so this was definitely a fail i'm going to be working with another youtuber to make this a success though so uh, stay tuned for that
This beautiful part is the Rocketeer jetpack flaps that go at the bottom. Now I was, uh, you know, killing myself trying to make these things before, but uh, a company called Send Cut Send, awesome company. They do all this uh, laser cutting stuff, and basically they just send you, or you send them the the file. They cut it for you, and then they send it back. So definitely check these guys out. There's a link in the description. What I'm building here is a what, what I'm going to be using as a grease forming tool. Um, some of you are familiar with what hydroforming is, and I wanted to experiment with this. Um, this did not work out as well as I wanted it to, uh, just because uh, of actually that edge. I'll go over that in a second. So it's basically, uh, I think it's 9 millimeters or 10 millimeters thick steel, and um, just kind of cleaning it up and getting it all polished. And as you can see, I've got a little piece welded on there. You'll see what that's for in a second. And I've got the inside surfaces uh, polished pretty well. And I'm just drilling a hole and tapping it and installing the grease fitting. So basically the idea behind this is to sandwich a piece of metal in between these two parts and drill the holes so you can put bolts through the metal and clamp it tightly down with the bolts and then basically using an ordinary grease gun this one is rated to 10,000 psi I'm going to go ahead and just fill the back with grease and make this part without having to hammer it um, and make it perfect without having to do any kind of corrections to the surface but as you can see there definitely did not work out for me now, I was thinking that since it failed at that spot that it's probably due to the the edge there not being rounded enough. So I took a file to it and, and rounded it a little bit more and gave it another try. I tried this in 50 thousandths aluminum and also 63 thousandths. Now I have not given up on this yet. I think it's a viable idea and I'm going to be trying again. Um, but in this form it did not work. So if you have any ideas leave some comments below and uh, I'll be sure to see if I can implement them and see if I can make this work properly. Be sure to see my full length narrated tutorials where I show you how to make real armor with ordinary tools. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell so you get all notifications when I put out new videos. And if you want to see all the behind the scenes stuff, find me on Facebook and Instagram at the links you see on your screen. And while you're here, check out some of these other videos I've got.